What's happening, everybody? This is Rob Hammersmith from the United States checking in. Been invited back by Brandon Smith from BIS Rugby to talk a little bit about rugby in the United States. More specifically today, I'm going to talk about the MLR, Major League Rugby, give you a bit of a preview uh, for what we expect to be in store for the upcoming season. Going to touch upon just a brief review of what happened last season, uh, the finals, semifinals, uh, talk a bit about some of the roster changes that I expect to be uh, of significance, and finally touch upon some key matchups. So here we go. There are two major changes to the second season of Major League Rugby. The first is the addition of two more teams, adding a bit of balance to the MLR map. Rugby United New York and the Toronto Arrows will add depth of competition to the MLR schedule. And look for 2020 to even add more balance to that and that the East Coast will take on two additional franchises in Atlanta and the New England Free Jacks. So the next two years should add some excitement to what is already a very busy spring schedule. In addition, the broadcast rights are worthy of note. We expect to see that CBS will carry each week one major game. Uh, that will be a featured game of the week. And then ESPN Plus, which is available on an app, uh, will also broadcast the other matchups throughout the 2019 season. So it should be exciting. There's a lot of excitement building in the U.S. rugby community, and there are a lot more players from the U.S. Eagles that are going to be featured on many of these sides. So let's take a look at the final standings for last year's inaugural season of Major League Rugby. Seattle and Glendale are at the tops of the table, respectively. While Glendale had 40 points to Seattle's 38, the Seawolves get top billing with the championship win. Notice the point differential between them and the rest of the table. This should give an indication of who might be the teams contending for the title in 2019. Well, as I said, excitement is building for the 2019 season of Major League Rugby. It's awful hard to predict in a fledgling league what kind of expectations we have uh, for the teams and who we think will be at the top of the table. I'd suggest that some of the roster changes might be a bit of an indication. Unlike some of the European football uh, leagues, uh, we don't have transfer fees here in the MLR. And so there's been a bit of movement, and I think some of that movement can give an indication of which teams might have success. So let me start with the player changes. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, Glendale picked up uh, Malin Algebrari wing, uh, who is an eagle cap. He had a nice uh, fall season, as did um, number seven, open side flanker, Hango Gurmishes. Both played well for the Eagles in the fall tests. Um, and then they retained uh, Sean Davies and Will Maggie, a nice midfield combination. Um, both of them capped Eagles that have played well together and showed a lot of continuity uh, in November. Uh, they did, however, lose Bryce Campbell, the London Irish, and Dylan Fawcett to New York. So it'll be interesting to see how those changes impact Glendale's roster. Uh, Houston, um, not a lot of note there except for a uh, pickup of prop Paul Mullen, who's, um, who came from Newcastle. I think that European experience will bring a lot of strength uh, in, in anchoring uh, the front row. Uh, Nola Gold had some interesting movement um, in their roster and player personnel. Uh, they picked up number eight, Cam Dolan, who uh, for me, I love Cam. I love watching him play. I think he's he's an absolute stud for the United States Eagles. Uh, so it'll be fun watching him fly his trade back here in the United States. Uh, they also got a lot of depth in youth. Um, and maybe I'm partial, but uh, one of my guys, uh, Nick Feeks, from, came from Lindenwood. Um, another uh, guy I have a little bit of a connection with, uh, Malcolm May, uh, who played for Penn State. A real strong flanker. Uh, and then Kevin Sullivan came from Cal. Those guys were all really strong collegiate players. Not sure if, the, sure if they'll produce uh, any um, real, uh, real game-changing impact upon that team this season, uh, but uh, look for them to have an impact as uh, MLR progresses. Rugby in New York had some interesting changes. They added some depth and experience to the front row with prop Patty Ryan coming from uh, Newcastle. Um, and uh, hooker Dylan Fawcett 
coming from Glendale. Um, and then one interesting note here is uh, an English cap um, back, Ben uh, Fodor, who had applied his trade last season in Northampton. Look for him to add some strength to that back line. Uh, San Diego Legion uh, picked up flanker Louis Stanfill. Uh, they retained the rights to uh, Mike Taeo and Nate Osper. Um, all three of those guys have been longstanding uh, players in the United States Eagle Pool and have a lot of uh, international experience. Uh, one uh, loss of note uh, for the Legion uh, was uh, open side flanker Tony Lamborn, uh, a New Zealand born player uh, who has uh, been capped uh, and actually had a really nice uh, fall season. He got injured, I'm not sure to the extent of his injury, leg injury uh, in the very last test, but um, he's headed back to New Zealand to get a, to apply his trade there. Uh, Seattle had some roster changes that I think are pretty, uh, pretty important. Uh, ben Sima, fly half, U.S. fly half, adds some strength. Uh, in addition, uh, Roland Saniula, um, both those guys have played together with the Eagles, so that that's a real nice um, combination there. Uh, J.P. Smith from South Africa, uh, and Prop Justice Sears Dura, a Canadian, who comes in with a ton of experience. Uh, the one notable loss was a fly off from last season, Pete Smith. Uh, Pete sustained some uh, some injuries that put an end to his career, um, and but he has gone over to the uh, Toronto Arrows uh, on the coaching side, so that's uh, that's worthy of note for Toronto as his experience in, in a championship side uh, will be uh, real important for them in their fledgling season. Um, so uh, Toronto adds one really interesting addition on the wing, Leandro uh, Liavis, uh, Uruguayan with 70 caps. Uh, it's a lot of international experience. Uh, Utah adds Gannon Moore, um, a, a U.S. Eagle uh, pool player. Um, however, Utah and lost uh, two key players, Paul Lasicki, who went to the uh, Harlequins in, in Europe and England, and uh, David uh, Timoleo, uh, who went to the Glasgow Warriors. So um, some in interesting changes. I think teams that have already showed uh, strength um, have, have added to that, um, and we'll see how that impacts this upcoming season. So I want to take this opportunity to thank Brandon Smith, my guy at Biss Rugby, giving me this opportunity to be involved in the YouTube channel. If you like what you had to see today, go ahead and hit the like button down there if you wouldn't mind. Let me know what you thought. Give me some feedback. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see in the next production, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Cheers.